Are you looking for a quick and reliable way to perform high quality code reviews? Let me share with you my free checklist that allowed me personally to review more than 1000 PR. Salam alaikum friends, welcome back to the channel, Yunus Shafir is here and in this video I'm going to share with you the checklist I'm using in order to do high quality code reviews for the PRs I'm assigned to. Let's get started. So here is a checklist, it's called the Android review checklist. It's a Notion template that you can duplicate on your own. I will share the link below so you can grab it for free. So this checklist will allow you to think in multiple aspects about the code you are reviewing. So here how it will go. So first there is this basic 30 second code review checklist. So if people already reviewed PRs and you just want to do high level review, you can use this prompt. Right? So by doing more code reviews, this prompt will be in your head always. Can I easily understand the code? Can I unit test the code? Of course, if it's not testable, you will see that in the code, of course. There is duplication. Can I assess the security of the code? This one, and there is this one, like general stuff, like is the code well designed, it's readable, it's easily maintainable, and so forth. Now, if you want to provide an in-depth code review, you can check this aspect of the code. It's eight aspect. Okay, this works also inspired by Sherry. Okay, you can check its article about Android code review checklist. So here is the thing, you can open this implementation and you have many, many questions regarding many things regarding the implementation. Okay, so you will have this question always in your code. You will see it in the code when it is violated. For example, if you are using the MVP, for example, or MVVM, and you will see a presenter there, you know that the pattern isn't followed well. Okay, so these are some questions, a lot of questions to ask about your code. Okay, uh, coding style, for example, can I simplify the code? Can I use more idiomatic coding, for example? Talking about DI, is the right DI used, for example? It's, compil it's compiling normally, for example, dependencies, scopes, stuff like that, and all the things regarding implementation. You go to another aspect about the test, is the code testable? Can the modified class be mocked easily, for example? Is the code coverage uh, sufficient? and many things regarding the test. Same thing for error handling, like here is how to use it. You won't go to each line of code and ask all this question. Of course, it doesn't work like that. You will put some questions in your head and you will see which apply and which doesn't, okay? A lot of aspects regarding also the UI, the performance, code readability, and even some security and data privacy. So try it, you can duplicate it and enjoy it. There are other couple stuff, bonuses stuff, tip for the code author, like is the PR okay? What should review? Who should review the PR, for example? How can I handle the feedback uh, for the code author? And for the reviewer, this is some simple stuff on how to structure your code and how to give valuable feedback, okay? And at the end, here's just simple things I can help you with if you want to. I'm providing coaching session if you want. And here is my new brand course about refactoring legacy code, which is step-by-step -step approach in order to refactor legacy code bases. And also you can check, you are viewing this on my YouTube channel to for more tips. So thank you very much for watching this video. You can find the link down below in the description in order to grab this checklist. It's completely for free. Thank you very much and see you in the next videos. Salam alaikum.